Hey guys, it's Nicholas here with another unboxing video. This time I have bought some Pamp Swiss New Designs, uh, the New Design 1 ounce gold bars. They shipped to me from bullion exchanges. I was shopping uh, for the lowest prices on the internet and I found uh, that I got the best price at bullion exchanges. So I was looking at SD Bullion, they had pretty good pricing. Atmex is always a little bit more expensive. Um, and I kind of expected that, but it was worth checking. I do like their packaging. Um, this is also really good. I don't know if you guys noticed, like for the for the uh, type of um, for the amount of gold they're shipping, they're they're really packaging that well in there. Um, protecting it, sealing it in uh, discreet packages. Uh, you see they have BE books as their name, so people won't know that it's precious metals. So that's always uh, really nice to know that your, your postman isn't going to be tipped off, that you're buying a lot of valuables. So uh, why don't I use a knife on this? Yeah, so I was shipping, uh, I, I was shopping uh, for... Um, these new designs, I really like them. They're a really good one ounce gold bar, and I found that they were a little bit cheaper than the Fortunas. Um, I really like the Pimp. Oh, looks like I didn't do a great job there. Oh, <laughs> I ripped into that bag. But luckily the gold bars and the assays are still intact there. So, yeah, so I was um, trying to be careful here. So I was shopping on Atmex, JM Bullion. I also found that SD Bullion had some decent prices, so you can always check them, but ultimately I found the lowest prices on Bullion Exchanges. Doing a really clumsy job. You guys can all comment on how embarrassing this is to me. Uh, I will fully admit that I'm doing a terrible job here. There it is. Five ounces of gold. Okay, and the ripped packaging. I do like this packaging. Uh, both Bullion Exchanges packaging as well as the new designs here, so I do like just the core one ounce bullion products. These are nice new bars. They come in a, a really well sealed assay. These are a harder plastic. They don't feel flimsy like the kind of packaging that you get your earbuds in at Best Buy. This feels like a much sturdier package and I really like that matte color of gold on there with a little bit of shine. It almost looks kind of like a proof coin in some ways. Um, really nice. So those are the first five here. So let's see. And here is the last five in this box. So I'm assuming they did a similar job on this as the other box. So I'll open that up quickly for you guys. Uh, yeah, I've been looking at different types of bullion products here uh, on the market. Pamp is a really good brand. I like their finishes. I suspect that their uh, premiums will always be higher than RMC and or like Perth Mint even, which is a nice, a really nice brand. Um, definitely higher than those Sunshine Mint. What other brands are there of bars, which I do like, but um, are, oh, that was a mistake I made last time. Sunshine Mint and, like, Scottsdale bars are usually pretty cheap. Um, they're going to be a good pure product, but um, just doesn't give you the same kind of feel uh, when you're handling their product. Um, there we are. So they did a different type of packaging for this one. Um, yeah, inconsistency, whatever. They did a really good job packing this one. They taped it on there. I really like that. Um, but it does rip up the bag a little bit. Okay, who cares about the bag? All I care about is the gold. And there it is. Let's count those suckers up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, bullion exchanges. Okay, 
So yeah, if you guys have any other bars that you think I should uh, take a look at, I've definitely reviewed those Fortunas. I love them. Um, really like these new designs as well. Uh, these these are really good. Thank you so much, Bullion Exchanges. Uh, hope to order from you again soon. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe to this video if you'd like to see more. Comment in the section below if you'd like to see any other bars that you'd like reviewed or coins. Um, not hugely into numismatics, but always willing to, to delve into something that's, that's interesting to you guys. Um, please let me know and like and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.